what they look like. I don't know. I'm not going to try. Oh, they're all, are they all different? Hello everyone, so today I am doing another Iris Tries kind of video. So today is Friday, I'm putting this up on Saturday. Uh, my dad had a day off work, so we usually try to go out and eat and just spend time together at least once a week. Um, today we went and had some pho, which is amazing. So after that we decided to go to this grocery store that a family friend had recommended and I decided to go and look around because I'm always on the hunt for snacks and just new foods that I haven't tasted before which is getting increasingly difficult because I like to try new things all the time but I managed to find some things that I've never seen before I thought and why not make a video and share them with you guys so the place the market that we went to is literally called mom supermarket like mom mom and dad um, supermarket mom I don't know if you can see that I think five things and I'm just gonna pick something out and try it the first thing is this right here it's by the brand Richin R-I-C-H-I-N and these are lobster crackers and also these are I don't know I think a lot of these are Korean and Japanese but this one in particular is from Japan I am curious to see if these are similar to the Colby or Col I can't remember it's like Colby or something shrimp chips this is what the chip looks like it has black sesame um, on it and it looks like Cheeto dust so let's see how they taste a lot of Japanese snacks I've noticed have that umami taste to it which is like an undefinable taste it's not sweet it's not salty it's not bitter it's not sour it's just got a great combination of all different flavors this this these lobster chips taste like rice crackers like Japanese Japanese snacks are known for but it's got an element of sweet in it I can't really define it it's like a saltier rice cake or a rice cracker um, by Japanese standards but these are pretty good I give the lobster crackers three and a half out of five I want to drink some water to cleanse the palate these are banana chips banana chips they look like that and they are from Thailand see I told you there's a huge variety of different ones and I think these are like like all natural like organic they smell nice they're little curls that look like this it tastes less like a real banana and more like a candied banana they're pretty natural they're the only ingredients in there are banana sugar and palm oil I really like these they're not overly sweet and they're not soggy like some um, banana chips can be. Kind of tastes like what you know those fruit stripes, those fruit leather things. It kind of tastes like a banana fruit leather, but crunchy. I give these banana chips a four out of five. So the next thing is probably has the cutest packaging of all of the things that I'm trying. These are the Triple M sticks in original, and it just said roasted seaweed, and they're oil free. So let's try them and oh what are where are these from these are also from Thailand Ugh, can't open them. Fail. I am failing okay here we go that's what it looks like on the inside there's little cute little packages and that's cool this is what the little sticks look like and these are just the original flavors I thought that's what I'd go for and <laughs> That is so adorable. Mmm. That's really good. It pretty much just tastes like, you know, those seaweeds that come in the little carton or the little bag, but it's rolled up in a little stick. It's a little bit more dense. I give, I give the Triple M seaweed sticks a four and a half out of five. This is what they look like. 
They are the Ognon Tofu Snack. Oh, they're from Korea. Duh. It's not Japanese. These are the Onion Tofu Snacks. Korean. And I think they're garlic flavor. Sua... Sura saying onion tofu snack. So it pretty much, like the bag is so big, but that's all you get. Like, I don't know if you can see that. It's like ridiculously small portion. It looks like little wonton sticks that you put in salads. I'm not crazy about these. They have a little bit of sesame in it. But it tastes like a really dense. one time sick i give the tofu snacks a two and a half out of five last but i hope not least are these ones that i'm actually really looking forward to these are from taiwan Woo go taiwanese because i'm taiwanese macaroon rusks which is really interesting because i like macaroons and rusks are pretty harmless so yeah let's try these um it's interesting because these are actually from uh, close to where my mom's family's from so kind of cool packaging is kind of eh. it was like one of the last ones but this one you should see the other one you should see the other guy he looks worse oh, i'm not gonna try oh they're all are they all different they're by the brand hula hula um i don't, I don't know it doesn't say i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try this really pretty like pink one Packaging's really cute. Mm. Okay. So here's the thing. When I saw these, I was so excited because I love macaroons or macarons. But upon eating this, it's just kind of like the top of a macaroon without the yummy filling. And it's really just kind of like, you can see it. It's kind of like flaky. I don't really taste like anything. These macaroons are kind of a metaphor for life. Things that you are so excited for don't always turn out the way that you hope for. So that was me trying some new Asian snacks for you and for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Irish Tries videos. Don't forget to check out my last video where I talked about some of my favorite lip products um, that I am loving for fall. That'll be linked in the first line of the description. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye guys.